Matter Theory Will Be the Greatest Science Theory Ever by Paul Marostica There are other Matter Theory sales promotion videos numbered in this series. In my videos, I am offering my unifying physics theory, matter theory, to one funder and first user in an historic temporary exclusive first sale, satisfaction guaranteed. Later, I will publish it for sale worldwide. I will mention many of matter theory's important implications, but I will keep all of the assumptions and derivations and some of the implications of matter theory confidential for sale to the funder, so you will not learn matter theory from my videos. My name is Paul Marostica. I have invented the unifying fundamental physics theory. I am calling it matter theory. Matter theory is evolved beyond any current professionally used fundamental physics theory. It is a physically unifying fundamental physics theory. It assumes a new, more logical, and fundamental particle model. It physically and mathematically exactly explains more fundamental physics observables more logically using fewer assumptions, and it logically resolves most of the really fundamental problems remaining in physics theory. Over 30 years ago, I earned an HBSC in physics, graduating with highest standing in science. During my education, I was surprised to learn that physics uses a number of different fundamental theories, that they contradict each other, and that all their assumed mechanisms are physically illogical. Once I learned this, my only real interest in physics became inventing a unifying fundamental physics theory which resolves all these problems. And after over 30 years of independent research, I have invented that theory, matter theory. Matter theory is simple and intuitive to learn and use, and is now ready for use by everyone. Technologically, I expect matter theory will immediately empower everyone who learns it with a greatly improved, simpler, unifying understanding of everything in our universe. Scientifically, I expect the long-awaited physical unification of physics and matter theory will immediately attract other physics theory researchers to use their expertise to contribute to it. With these contributions, I expect matter theory will rapidly grow to explain almost all observables, and in doing so, it will eventually replace all other professional fundamental physics theories to become the only theory. Matter theory is the unifying fundamental physics theory that many physics researchers have dreamed of, and some have tried to invent. With physics being the fundamental science from which all the other sciences derive, Matter theory's physical unification of physics unifies all science, making matter theory the greatest science theory ever. From this presentation, you will learn about the two current crises in fundamental physics theory, how matter theory will end these crises, why I invented matter theory, and what else it accomplishes. Don't worry, there is no math here, and you can review any of this presentation at any time to better understand it. Physics began as the science of motion. There are many kinds of motion, for example, constant speed, acceleration, vibration, rotation, and orbit. Physics researchers have discovered that all objects can be in motion and can change motion in a change of physical interaction. Physics researchers have also discovered that all the various particles composing all objects can be in motion. And importantly, physics researchers have discovered that not just the motions of all objects, but all observables of all objects are most accurately explainable by the interactions and resulting motions of the most fundamental particles composing them. So physics theory has evolved to try to explain all observables of all objects 
and it tries to most accurately explain any observable of any object by the interactions and resulting motions of its most fundamental particles. As a result of this, physics has become the fundamental science from which all the other sciences derive. A theory is an understanding using some assumptions and their implications. A theory can be used to explain, predict, and make use of things. A fundamental physics theory is a fundamental science of motion understanding using some assumptions and their implications. Historically, in trying to explain various objects' motions, various physics researchers invented various physics theories. In the last century, Four base fundamental physics theories have remained in professional use. Ether theory, classical theory, relativity theory, and quantum theory. More recently, in trying to unify explaining all objects' motions, various physics researchers invented various other physics theories. These include two mathematically unifying fundamental physics theories, which are now also in professional use the standard model theory, and string theory. My research into these six differing professional fundamental physics theories has revealed serious problems, which I propose have resulted in the following two continuing fundamental physics crises, which first began about a century ago. The contradicting mechanisms crisis, which is, in trying to explain some of the same observables, the six theories assumed mechanisms physically contradict, and the illogical mechanisms crisis, which is, in trying to explain observables, the six theories assumed mechanisms are all physically illogical. Initially, by both physically and mathematically logically explaining observables, physics became the most logical science. But now, by variously using six contradicting professional fundamental theories and mathematically calculating, but not logically physically explaining observables, physics has become the least logical science. So distressingly, and also perversely, physics is the only science that has become non-physical, and has been so for a century. Throughout the last century, Physics researchers have used significant resources in theory and reality research, trying to invent a physically unifying theory which resolves the two physics crises. This continuing century-long effort has still not produced an accepted theory. Matter theory is my new independently invented as yet unpublished theory. Matter theory is the logical, necessary, and sufficient fundamental physics theory which physically unifies the scientific explanation of all observables, of all objects. Matter theory's physically self-consistent unification resolves both fundamental physics crises and its many simple logical implications, some of which are unexplained assumptions of the six professional fundamental physics theories, make it fundamental to all those six theories. Matter theory logically physically explains 23 fundamental physics observables physically unexplained by the most successful fundamental physics theory ever, the standard model theory, and it better explains most other already explained fundamental physics observables. Matter theory is simple and intuitive to learn, and its logical, physically unifying assumptions and mathematical relations applying to all observables of all objects are ready to use. After quickly learning matter theory, you will intuitively understand many fundamental physics observables, including why particles exist and why particles move the way they do. And physics experts will understand that the correct physical derivation of relativistic quantum-like observables is possible only in matter theory. Because I have so far used matter theory in only a few simple applications which prove only it will correctly explain the relativistic quantum-like observables of all fundamental particles, matter theory will at first begin having limited use. But as others use it in more applications to explain more observables, 
matter theory will gradually replace all six professional fundamental physics theories to become the only theory. Matter theory will unify physics to give everyone one new, simpler, much better understanding of the universe in which some possibilities which were only debatable philosophically are instead logically determined by physics. Matter theory will streamline all future physics theory and reality, education, use, and research into learning, using, and improving only one self-consistent fundamental physics theory. Matter theory will immediately help physics theory and reality researchers explain even more unexplained physics observables using its new assumptions. Matter theory will immediately save significant costs in physics worldwide by eliminating the necessity of funding further physics theory and reality research trying to invent a new unifying fundamental physics theory, invent a new, more logical and fundamental particle model, resolve the two continuing fundamental physics crises, explain all the unexplained fundamental physics observables matter theory now explains, and eliminate the many other fundamental physics theory problems matter theory eliminates. In the short term, money will need to be spent converting many of the current fundamental physics theories useful explanations of observables to more logical matter theory explanations, educating people in matter theory, and improving matter theory. In the long term, money will need to be spent more in making advances stimulated by matter theory than in trying to invent or revise multiple theories, educating people in matter theory less expensively than in multiple theories, and improving matter theory. Throughout history, many researchers and organizations have devoted significant effort toward unifying the understanding of all observables, and many working now only dream a successful unifying physics theory might be possible in their lifetime. Matter theory will immediately make this dream reality, finally rewarding all those efforts. A successful unification of science can occur only once. Those who participate in it can become a part of history. You could establish your place in history as the funder and first user of the unifying physics theory by purchasing temporary exclusive confidential use of matter theory, money back guaranteed if not satisfied. After your first use, I would publish matter theory worldwide acknowledging your contributions. If you might like to become the funder and first user of matter theory, I invite you to email me at palmarostica at tbaytel.net. Because I have so far used matter theory in only a few simple applications, there is still much work to be done. This means guaranteed historic opportunities for physics theory and reality researchers in using and improving this unifying theory toward it reaching its full potential. If you are interested in the science or technology of matter theory, I invite you to email me at paulmarostica at gmail.com. You can help and become a part of history. If you think matter theory and other independently invented scientific theories should have the chance to be evaluated and then fair value funded, please refer others to this presentation. If you know of any person, group of people, organization or government who might evaluate and fair value fund matter theory, contact them, suggest they help and refer them to this presentation. Expect matter theory to be published worldwide soon. If it isn't, and you would like to ensure better science and a better future for everyone, contact your local science representatives, strongly suggest they and their superiors immediately help evaluate and fair value fund matter theory, and refer them to this presentation. If you are interested in matter theory, I invite you to email me at palmarostica at gmail.com. In the past, physics was the most logical science. In the present, with its confusion of theories and its many unresolved problems, physics is the least logical science. With help, in the future, physics can again be the most logical science, using only one physically unifying fundamental physics theory. Matter theory. 
The Greatest Physics and Science Theory Ever Invented by me, Paul Marostica The End